and enters will be trapped. And I'll, I'll show you a screenshot will, will make more sense. Okay, so go ahead. So I've gone up, crossed this rivet, and then now I'm at the top here. Now I could steal a few Kong points, which I call them. It was where you jump up and move the joystick to the right or left, and you get 100 points. Now some people have probably tried it and just didn't move the joystick, and they go, why don't, why don't I get 100? Steve's cheating, right? <laughs> so you gotta move the joystick in the, in the middle of, the, of your jump. You'll run into his foot if you're not careful. Yeah, if, don't the, get too if close. the timing's not right, you run if you, if you don't jump right at the time, right time. Okay, so here where I'm going to just go ahead and cross and get the umbrella. Okay. Okay, so I've gone down this ladder. Now this is perfect. Look at three guys, the three stooges over here are going to get <laughs> here in a second. So I'm going to get this la uh, hammer over here. Now, you can do the bounce off the wall, or you can step a little bit half off the ledge and just jump straight up. I usually just jump straight up It's because yeah. a lot of times where a fireball is underneath you and you've got to get it quickly. So if you do the rebound, you're going to get killed. So good. All right, I didn't show you all, all the guys die, but I walked across and I hit one for 500. Now it's a random number. It's either three, five, or 800. And the program determines that. There's no way to control the randomness of the, the points you get for a, a fireball. So if you see here now, I've got this row here of rivets that are now gone. So any, this one that just died, where's it going to appear? On the other side. On the other side, thank you. You're welcome. So it, it might, now the, the worst possibility is it comes down here. Then it yeah. would, could possibly walk over and, and, and be in your way. But if it comes in any of these top rows, it won't go down unless you go down. So it will be stuck on this side of the screen. So you don't have to deal with that fireball anymore. Okay, so see it appeared over here. He's dead. He, he's out of the picture unless I were to do something dumb and go down here and taunt him. But here's where I always want to cross this rivet at the last possible second. You don't want to go over here and wait. Now, the reason why is because you can get trapped. The hammer disappears and you have no control over what's going to be behind you or in front of you. So if you lose your hammer and miss this fireball and another one's right here, yeah. then you're going to, that's probably happened to a few of you where you, yeah. So you want to wait till you get the hammer's last second and then cross it and, and then hope you won't get trapped, hopefully. So here this one's going to get hit. All right, so what I did, it kind of skipped the frame, but I went down and oh. at this last few rivets, it depends on where the fireballs are at. There's no, if there's fireballs getting in your way down here, you might have to go up here and get these two. Depends at this point what the situation is on the board. So I went down here and I came up. See how these guys, I don't have anything to worry about with these three. These two, I'm hoping they'll come up and I can hammer them and then start doing my little Kong point trick up here, which, which is kind of fun. All right, go ahead. So there I am, I'm bouncing up in the air, Better getting neener. my 100 Better points. So. Now I have 2,900 points to deal with. I can get uh, about 300 of these Kong points for every 100. So I, I bet really? this can get like 200 net points for this, or even 300 net on the lower levels when the timer's going slowly. See, these guys will never get me. So I sit here and I go for zero. When it gets to zero, I can do four more jumps because you have some extra time. So that's how you get another 400 points out of the whole board. So jump, jump, and at zero, so you, you got to make sure you pay attention to the clock. And then do four jumps, and then you would clear the screen. But if you notice, I don't have this one cleared. It's not the same board. It's a different, I had to steal a different frame. So this one would have been gone from the other. So I would have, I would have cleared at this point. Can you, uh, questions with the pattern here? Does anyone want to have a different pattern that they've used? Does the pattern change with the fireballs? If they're up at the top, you finish the stage at the bottom, right? Once you get this situation, right. So if they're if they're up at the top, then I would go down here. Yeah. 
Yeah, but if they're down here, I would go up here, get my hammer, and then hopefully they lure up and and I can go back down and clear it down there. Just a real quick question. Sure. Can you show me with your red light just which exactly the pattern you go? You go up that first middle ladder, right? Yeah, so I'll do one that's where you don't get the purse. I'll just talk about the one where when the fireballs are going full steam, here's what I do. I go, you start about right here. So I'll go over, up, get that one and jump back. Go up. It's tempting. You want to get that one, but you don't. You go up. Then I do this. I go right, up, and left. Down. Get the hammer. And then this one was still, oh, that was still there because you skipped it. Then you go across and then you can finish, you know, down here or up here. It depends on what you want to do. All right. Yes. In your early days, um, I know you probably don't do it now, but do you remember when you could trap the fireball and clean the earth? Yeah. I, you can do that. If you've ever done this trick, This, if this fireball is going across this rivet and you jump it, right when it's over the rivet, it gets in this little starts flickering back and forth, it's all frustrated. It's I, remember, in the gap. I remember that on the 2600 yeah. or something. Does it work on the 2600? Yeah, I remember doing that on the 2600. Yeah, so that's a trick too. And Real tough. Yeah, it's tough to do. I don't do it in a world record. I'll just do it for fun. You know, it's a plan as a little fun thing. Question? Yeah, Walter? Now, remember when we went to G4 and you did the big trial Yeah. Yeah. The record that we've seen so far, all the video takes that were reviewed, was 55 jumps. Wow. And then suddenly, I thought, wait a minute, that was a lot of jumps. And I said to them over the microphone, you guys go back and count that and tell me how many jumps that was. And they got excited because you had broken the record by around 15 or 20 jumps. You did wow. like 65 oh, really? or 70 jumps. So that, that's actually a good bit of advice for everybody. If you can actually get in that position, that's probably the biggest thing you can milk points for in the entire game. Exactly, yeah. So you did like close to 70 jumps there. Yeah, thanks. And he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. What's his name again? Walter. <laughs> yeah. He's talking about the Kong. Yeah, when you go here and jump until the bonus gets to zero, you can make three grand. Like if Hopefully. there's 3,000 here, you can make like seven grand. So you said watch the timer. When do you stop like when it's when I see it's at zero, then I go four jumps extra. Yeah. You can get four and in, huh? Four in, but you better be quick. You can't stall. You gotta be. Right. I usually get like two or three. Three is safe. You know, if you get an extra fourth, that's I try to get four in. But if I'm up at the if I'm like right a hundred points from the world record and I I don't want to risk it, I'll probably clear the screen. Okay, any of those are good questions. I like. In, Interaction is better than this being a lecture. <laughs> Question, yeah. Um, actually, why is the high score higher than your score? Uh oh. That is impossible. That's <laughs> well, actually, this is a million, this is three million twenty-six. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first thing. This is like, yeah, this is level two. The level, so this is actually. This is too technical there. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, he knows there's no other. All right, good. <laughs> good one. I got a question, but for oh. the last screen. Okay, if you go back, please. Yeah, question? No, 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 just keep going. For Are the last screen of the game. Oh, okay. Okay, now here's the elevators, which is the one that I remember playing it in the pizza parlor, and that's the one I. took me a while to get all the timing down when you're jumping between these platforms and the moving. But once you get that done, it's, it's, it's the easiest screen on the whole thing. Uh, even third elevators, once you understand which, which uh, spring to go on. But the, this is the first elevator, it's level three. So you gotta be ready, right when the screen starts, you're gonna be jumping on this first platform. This is moving up. So that's why I say be ready. Good. Okay, now here's where you've gotta be careful. When you jump onto this platform, there's a hat here. But this fireball could be descending at the same time you're jumping, yeah. and that will, you'll be dead on the third elevators if that happens. On the first elevators, you have time to recover. 